Hello friends, today we are going to see how to implement JaxRS application in LifeRay. JaxRS web service works in LifeRay modules the same way they work outside of LifeRay. Here the difference is we have to register the classes in OSGA framework. And LifeRay development tools gives us a easy way to create a template. Okay, for the, step, for the first step is we have to start the server. Here I have started my server. The second step, we have to create a template. I mean, create a LifeRay module project, give some sample name, and select the template as rest. Click finish. Now we have successfully created a RESTful template in LifeRay. Okay. The step three is we have to add the dependency. To add the dependency, already I have copied the dependency from the LifeRay. Copy it in build gradle. Just this and refresh the gradle. Now the dependency is added in your application. The step four, we have to modify the add component. To do this, go to sample application.java. Here we are going to modify these two lines. So this also you have already copied. Let me copy this. Now, let it go it. Here we have to import the package. To do this, Control Shift O. We have successfully imported the package. Now, step five is we have to delete the configuration file. Where will the configuration file? That will be inside the SRC mine resource. Inside the configuration, we have these two configuration files. Delete it. Wonderful. Once I can refresh the Gradle, oh, let's practice. Now deploy the project. Uh, we have successfully deployed our project. Okay. already started this tour. Okay. Now we will check the link is working or not. To do this, we have to check HTTP local host eighty eighty. Greetings. Yeah, authorization required because here we are using JAX-RS with authorization. It required a authorization, so for that we have to we have to configure or to administer or to configuration. To do this, we have to go to control panel, configuration, system settings. Go to API. Sorry. Go to auto administration. Select it. Give some application name. For example, I'm giving JAXRS website URL or give HTTP colon localhost. Localhost. In callback URL. Here we have to select the client profile as headerless server, so it will automatically select the client credential. Save it. Okay, we have successfully saved it. See, here it requires an authorization. We have to send a token in this header to access the JAXRS web service. 
So to do that, I'm going to use here postman. Let me come over here. So see, this is the URL. I'm going to copy it here. Let me send the request to the service. See, it's throwing an error, like an exception of authorization required. So to get the authorization, first we need to configure the all to administration, which we did in our life server. So we got it client ID, we have a client secret key over here. To get a token from LifeRay server, what we have to do in Postman, we have to select or 2 2.0 and it's a request header and get new access token click it the token name it will be selected by default grant type is client credential and the access token url is http colon localhost 8080 till the token we have to give client id we have to copy the client ID from the port administration. Paste it over here. Client secret key. Copy. Paste it over here. Here the scope we are going to get is the get and the client credential sent as basic authentication header. So here we are going to request the token from the live frame. So we received a successful token from the OAuth to administration in LifeRay. Now I'm going to use this token to send it to the header in the URL. I've used the same token over here. And what I'm doing over here, I'm adding this token in the header. To do this, just click on preview request. Okay, now send the request. Wow, we have successfully get the output from the web service. It means we are successfully uh, communicating. We are successfully communicating to the web service here. Without the token, we could not able to access. But through the token, we are accessing the service. Let me check morning. Wow, I'm getting good morning also. And when to check Arman. Yeah, good morning, Arman. Here we have successfully implemented Jax RS application in LifeRay. So something we have to see over here is See here is a client text plane we are getting it works how we got it in our postman we're calling this morning we are getting good morning we're calling this we are getting morning is Arman okay this is a simple demo of the JAXRF application implementation in LifeRay. So if you have any issues, you can post, you, you can comment it below. And this is only for local testing purpose. We should not pass OR tokens between client and server in HTTP. Here, we are using here HTTP. This is only for the local testing over here. If we are moving into the production, don't forget to send the token in HTTPS, which is security protocol. As I'm not configured HTTPS, I'm not getting the, I'm not passing the request to the HTTPS. So to know how to configure HTTPS, uh, you can you can check it in my another video where I implemented. Uh, how to configure HTTP to HTTPS, yes. how to transfer the request, how to redirect the request, HTTP request to HTTPS. Yes. 
that also I implemented in uh, another video. You can check it that. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.